Okay, so this video is not going to appeal to my normal subscriber base, but it does explain why I have been missing from hauls and fashion and outfit of the days and all that good stuff because I have been living in a cave trying to prepare for the tease uh, number five. This test right here is the entry exam required by my uh, community college to get into their RN registered nursing program. So a lot of times I watch these videos and I was not getting specific information. So I'm gonna give you specific information and then I'm gonna give you general information. I think my general information weighs just as important as the specific information. So the number one tip that I'm gonna give you is to buy this. You absolutely do not need to take this test without buying this. I did not buy the online test that you can take, but I think those could be a good tool, but I did not buy them, but you absolutely need this. Every topic that is covered in the test or on the test is in this book. I would say this is the most important resource that you need. Don't just rest on your anatomy and all your other sciences. You need this book because the test is so simple, so quick, but so detailed. It is like hitting the bullseye. You must hit that bullseye or you know side. You cannot pass go, okay? I had to take this test twice because the first time I relied on my anatomy and my previous science, I studied it a little bit, but I was more focused on the math because I felt like math was my weakest subject. And then when I got to the science, a basic testing thing is to give yourself enough energy. I ran out of energy. Every section is timed um, an hour, like uh, 45 minutes to an hour and the clock resets every time. So the science section, that's the section I want to focus on the most is hour number three, because you have to do reading and then you have to do math. And that wore me out. By the time I got to science, I was like already so defeated because I thought I didn't do good at math. So don't self-select yourself out. Even if you don't think you did well in the section, treat every section new and you have to have a new energy burst for that. So very specifically about this book. Um, please, if you get this, study this science section from the back forward. Now the math, you can go straight through it. I never looked at the reading. I never looked at the grammar section. My whole focus, cause I feel like I knew how to read and I know how to speak English. I'm going to focus on math and I'm going to focus on science on the math. Do everything they ask, even though your Roman numerals, which is so simple and so silly. And then on your science know every topic that is discussed in here, but I will say, learn it like this. For anatomy, don't think that that is the end all, be all. When you take the test, it gives you a breakdown about how you're actually tested. In the science section, there are 48 questions, okay? Of that, 11 of those are human body, 15 are life sciences, 14 are earth and physical science, eight are scientific reasoning that involves like the formulation of a hypothesis. So if 14 questions are earth and physical science and only 11 are human and body, which we would think of as anatomy, you can blow it right there. If you don't look into your earth and physical science and the earth and physical science is at the end of the science section, this hypothesis stuff is at the beginning, which is only eight questions. And then it goes to human body and life science. Now, um, I would say learn it from the back forward. Also pay attention for me. It was the pages 152 and 153, the Mendel's laws of genetics and the Punit square, however you pronounce that. I don't know when they taught that in school. If they taught it in elementary, I wasn't listening. If they taught it in middle school, I didn't get it. If they taught it in high school, I wasn't there. Like it seems like such a simple concept, but when you have to Maybe it is for you guys. I don't know, so I'm not going to assume. But just make sure you know it backwards and forward about the heterogeneous parents versus the homogeneous. And if it's going to be a 25%, a 50%, a 75% manifestation, you definitely need to know that. Because that also ties in about your phenotype and your genotype and all the vocabulary that goes along with it. Also, for me, mitosis, meiosis were just like hands down on there through and through. Um, also on my particular test, knowing how to, um, not find the element. 
I took the test twice. The first time I took it was so much easy peasy. I wish I could do it again. My second time taking it, the questions were 75% harder. It was just so much more difficult. I had a lot of things about electrons, atoms, and the formulation of how to calculate um, your protons, your neutrons, your atomic number, and your atomic mass. It's not that difficult. Just know how to locate it and know what to subtract from what to get your value. Um, also, I had a lot of things about different bondings. Know your different hydrogen covalent. Know what dissolves in water periodically. Um, I can remember offhand, like knowing help, like because I memorize a lot. And when I tell you I eat and sleep, I memorize so much. Look at all these note cards that I made. I would say memorizing is good, but mostly you have to know about functionality. You have to know how things work together in their key functioning parts and that's what i will focus on for the anatomy know the key functioning parts in the system but also know the key functioning cells like in the respiratory system it's the alveoli and the nervous system it's the neuron um and then know i've got a lot of things on my mind so then i want to go ahead and say for me when you Take your test, you get a printout, you can print it out yourself, and it shows you the subjects that you miss. Now, my test had mostly nervous system, circulatory, respiratory. And when I say that, I really had to learn the heart, I had to learn the heart. I had to go onto the internet and find the simplest way to learn the functionality about what vessels are leading to which vessels, what's oxygenated, what's deoxygenated, what happens if a valve is damaged, what backflows, things like that. That is more of you can't just memorize it. You have to know the mechanics of it. I like to find things that are like one page. This was like my one page thing um, to learn the heart. You know, deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood goes through the superior and inferior vena, vena cava to the right atrium through the tricuspid. Okay, so now just imagine that you're sitting there and taking a test, and it says that the tricuspid valve separates what? Or if the matricular valve defects, backflow occurs to the atrium, to the tricuspid valve, to the right ventricle, to the left ventricle. Things like that. It is so on point that you cannot go in there just like easy peasy and think you're going to have it. I mean, unless you're just like one of those brains that just holds on to details. If you're a very detail-oriented person that knows how to categorize things and understand their functionality, not just memorize it, but truly know how things are working together, I think you'll do good. For me, I had to study to do that and I also have to take the test more than one time to do that because it's just a hard concept to teach yourself uh, subjects that you may have forgotten about I mean I even had questions about the population the immigration the migration that was on my test two times fertility rates was on my test um, both times um, just knowing the functioning cells, like, you know, kidneys is the, or urinary system is like the nephron, the respiratory is the evoli, and knowing your atomical positions is not that important. I think I had like one question on it. Like, if somebody got hit in the thoracic duct, what would the damage be? It would be like to your chest area. But I have like very weird ways of memorizing things, so that kind of helped me. Um, know your organizational system. And there was a lot, uh, when I say a lot, more than one question about your domain, kingdom, phylum organization, and even asking you, okay, name the genus of this term, name the species of this term. Those are some things that, you know, we're just trying to just strictly go into nursing that we might not really think about. Also, know any and everything you can about water. On this particular version of the test, there was even a question about explain Boyle's Law, which is basically like you need to know how temperature, volume, and pressure work and affect each other. Know your bondings, your covalent, and your hydrogen because you will have a lot of questions about water, a lot of questions about DNA. Also, know the breakdowns of your cells. Like I had a question this time about the Golgi apparatus, completely forgot. I had a brain fart, like a stupid attack because I had spent so much time studying about ribosomes and my mitosis and meiosis because that was on my test 
quite frequently. Also, that was on my test that um, I would not have thought was there was like your respiration formula. They gave the formula and wanted to know, um, give, like select the balance formula of like plant respiration or something like that. Like, I just like, I know <laughs> that I studied it. I know that it's on a note card. Um, of course, you want to know all about your pH balances and things. Um, but like take a subject like pH, you got to know your values, your one through 14. Sometimes I forgot, like when I was drilling myself that it goes one through 14 because I'm so used to going to like one through seven and only worrying about what's a base and what's an acid. No, know what's a weak base, know what's a strong acid. Okay. And know the, if it gives you the chart of the pH scale, how it's going down, know what values that that represents. For me, the science part was the most important part. Um, it was the part that I had to retest on. The math part, I got it the first time. The math, like I said, just drill everything. And know how to just sit there and do your math without a calculator. Um, your addition, your subtraction, your fractions, your algebra, your foiling, your PEMDAS. Um, and yeah, I try to be as specific as I could with that and also get enough rest. I ran out of energy so much. Even right now, I'm just exhausted. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to cover. If you don't feel like it's a lot, let me know what kind of brain power you have because I could use some of that. Just to have to test yourself on so many concepts at one sitting nonstop is like torture. So I am going to get all my little things together and submit my application for the nursing program and hopefully I will start that in January keep our fingers crossed if they let me in I'm going in I know it's going to be a challenge because this was a challenge I couldn't believe that a girl showed up today and this is going to be this is going to wrap my video up and this is just going to say a lot I cannot see how you could take this program nursing and not be organized and not be detail oriented there's so much red tape and so many areas that you have to learn that it will select you out. I would say don't get discouraged if you have to do anything more than once. I have a family member who took all of her courses, but because she waited too long, the courses expired. Now she has to retake them. I myself have to take the T's test twice. A lot of people have to take anatomy more than once. Let me just say I made A's in all my anatomies, all my sciences, except for psychology. I made a B because I was bored. But everything else I made straight A's. I'm academically talented like that. But when it concerns taking standardized tests I do struggle but I think anything can be done if you put your mind to it and just don't worry if you get disappointed but the story I want to say is this the girl showed up today at the testing site she had not registered for the test nor paid for the test the test is by registration online payment only and it was sold out because the last day for you to get your application in is August the 1st so of course so this girl just shows up and thinks she's gonna take the test and other people, because we're waiting in line, you have to be there 30 minutes early. It's already past that time period. And the lady who I had been talking to quite friendly, and she was, like, trying to encourage that. I was like, right now, I don't know anything except I have to make sure that my shit is together. And I mean it just like that. I have to make sure for me to be able to do this program that I have everything that I need and that I'm maximizing all of my resources, all of my compartmentalizations. That means not only in the way that I study the material, knowing how things function, but also how things are functioning in my life. There's a lot of scheduling you have to do. Like if you want to be able to make rounds, if you have to go and take a test, like how I had to take this particular T's test, the NCLEX test, and going through the program is one thing. Your prerequisites are another thing. Your entry test is another thing. And then the tests for you to actually become are in the NCLEX is a whole other thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit my application. I've got to take another class before I'm officially allowed to consider myself a nursing major. But you have to pass your T's test before that because there's so many different ways for them to weed you out that I'm going to go ahead and start buying all my NCLEX stuff just so that as I'm learning more that I am preparing for that specific test that will allow me to take my 
myself to the full throttle. So yeah, if you're taking the test, you're preparing for the test, let me know down in the bottom. I know a lot of people like to share information and it's so helpful. And I hope you guys got so much or got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I am now exhausted. That was my last of energy. I am going to lay back on this bed and just rest it up. I am just... I'm over the moon. I can't believe I did it because it was such a challenge for me. I had to raise my score about 20 points. I really only had to raise it 10 or so, but I raised it by 20 and it, I earned every point. I have a lot of respect for anybody who has a certification or a license. I mean, I didn't think those people were that smart, but those people are smart. Those people are dedicated. Those people are detail oriented. And they're disciplined to a whole other level. So I'm not going to ramble anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have anything to add or anything you'd like to tell me about the NCLEX or your actual nursing program. Bye.